The People's Action Party has announced that it is not lifting the whip for this debate. Given the varied public opinion on the impending repeal of 377A, there is a risk that the democratic value of Parliament could be diluted if the views of Singaporeans on this subject are not adequately ventilated in the House. Not lifting the whip would deny Workers' Party MPs not in favour of a repeal of 377A the opportunity to vote freely and in doing so to also represent Singaporeans who see this issue as a matter of deep religious belief and conscience. So I have decided to lift the whip for the Workers' Party MPs. In doing so, I have also asked all who will speak to carefully reflect on the position they take and to envision a set of principles or perspectives from which society as a whole, with its different views, can move forward. That is the challenge. In my 2019 speech, I said that the LGBT community should, LGBTQ plus community should not be exploited for political points. At that time, I believe there was more to consider than deciding which was the right side in this matter, particularly in a society which generally eschews from hosting open and frank conversations on difficult matters in the public realm. Against this political culture and backdrop, the Workers' Party neither took up the cause of LGBTQ plus rights, nor stood against it. I still believe that had the Workers' Party openly supported a repeal of 377A, it would not have been good for Singapore politics. More crucially, it would have not served the interests of the LGBTQ plus community. On issues of great social division and contending values, we do not need politicians to be seen as siding with particular groups.